And welcome to my playhouse. And today I kind of owe you a bit of an update. A while ago I made this spot welder out of a battery uh, from a car starter, a car booster thing. It's right here behind me. This thing. And the first time I was going to be using this, well, it died on me. And I thought that the relay inside would have died and everything would have been bad. Um, I got a lot of good suggestions on that video for one of them that the battery was just flat and I didn't I didn't believe that but that has actually turned out to be true the battery had um, had gotten so flat that when I'm doing this there's not enough current to keep the relay open and supply enough power so the relay dips too much and the power is cut janks on and off really fast and I never get a good connection over here I've been cheating a little bit and I've been doing some connections here and I thought that well, I better do a video update before I complete this. Um, I can't do very many spot welds before the battery is completed and I have to take a break. Also this becomes very warm so um, yeah I kind of just when I can't touch this anymore it's time to take a break. So um, yeah I thought that let's do some spot welds and, um, and get on with this project. So yeah, it's nice and cool right now. And I put the charger inside of the box here. So when it uh, starts getting low, it will, it's a one amp charger. It takes forever and ever, but um, yeah, it will charge the battery up again so that um, yeah, it will keep, it, it's kind of, um, it charges it every time I, I connect it and then it charges up to some point and it disconnects. So I kind of, pulling in and out all the time so I am fastening these pieces of of metal strip um, onto here and I usually just take the middle of them and um, just hold it down with this and I put my safety goggles on because sometimes weird stuff happens and I have this momentary switch here and it's um, it, the moment is regulated uh, on how long I push it. So I usually just check that this is in good and then we give it a little push. There and one there. Oh, and then it's... That was not supposed to happen. What the fuck? The handle is already warm. And when I've just charged the battery, I have to give it a very short because it, it heats up very fast as we get and you can see when I heat the middle it, it bends out so let's just give this one and that one oh that wasn't enough there. and we just need the last two to be fastened here There, and um, someone suggested that I should measure the voltage when I'm doing this, and um, yeah, I should probably have done that when I did the first video. So, um, better late than never. We can try it. So we're just gonna push it. It's just gonna show us the battery voltage over here on the multimeter. There, it's 12.86 volts right now. Uh, I'm not sure if I can if I can measure that while I'm. While I'm spot welding, well, I guess we can do a minimum maximum recording here, and I'll see if I can manage this. So we'll, I'll put these on best as I can. See if I can, I can keep a connection and do a spot weld. Uh, there's one. I think we can do that. And let's see what we got. We got 1.7 volt. That's maximum. And minimum was minus. Okay. So it spot welds with about 1.7 volts. And there is a lot of losses in the cables when you short circuit a battery like that. 
So I can also feel that these cables are heating up. I haven't done very many spot welds, but when I am at a point where this is, um, when I can't hold this anymore, well, I can also feel that the cables are nice and soft and um, warm to the touch. So 1.7 spot welding with that, that's actually not bad. It's a, it's a good voltage for that, but I do understand why that relay in there is unhappy with that. So I'll, um, I'll keep going here and we can do some more spot welds. Now that I've fastened everything. I usually do two on each. Oop, oh, got a shock. When I do this fast, it heats up really fast as well. You can kind of hear the relay doing weird stuff in there now. It still keeps going. And it's 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 now getting to the point where this is very warm. You could hear the relay turning on and off again. Ow! So now it's very soft. Um, I'll just give it a second to cool off ever so slightly. Okay, it have cooled off just a little bit. Uh, when I fasten these, I have to be careful not to skip any points, which uh, I was just about to skip up here. And I do believe that some of these could use another one. Um, I have to remember that the, these can be very hot, so adjusting them. This, uh, good to do with pliers, otherwise I'll burn myself. There you can hear the relay. Now it's out of power and it won't do anything. And we could try and measure the voltage again. I hope you saw that we didn't actually do very many spot welds. I didn't get very far. So we will try this again. We'll clear this. I think it's cleared. Uh, minimum, maximum. Um, I have the, have the battery charger on it right now. So that might be but let's just try and do another spot weld here with these connected. That did actually work. So what was the voltage? 1.4. Let's try and disconnect this and, um, and do a couple of spot welds until it, it runs dry again. Maybe this wasn't good. There, it's off. I have disconnected power to it, so now it should not do anything. Yeah, as soon as it's it's not doing anything, it, it, it the relay works fine. Oh, and we need to reset this. There, and minimum, maximum. Gets a lot of minimum readings here. And we do a spot weld. So maybe that one. Let's see what the voltage was on that. 1.2 volts. So that's apparently too low. And the relay does weird stuff. Hmm. So now that we are updating on spot welding, there is also this Chinese um, spot welder that I got from Banggood that I had a lot of trouble running and I ended up using it on the generator. I actually found that I do have 400 volts down here. Right over here, there is this box here. My grandparents who lived, they had a dishwasher up here somewhere and that used a lot of power. So they had 400 volts uh, down here. So in here, there are three phases, one zero and a ground. And that would be enough to supply power. And these 400 volts installations are usually um, fused with 16 amps instead of 13 or 10 amps that is used on regular lighting and stuff like that. So that would be enough power to actually power the spot welder, which draws around 3000 watts. And that's a problem with only 13 amps because that's right on the limit. 
So yeah, um, another problem that I had was these Chinese letters over here and my good cousin came by and he had a solution for that. I want to show you that. On my phone I have installed Google Translate. If we jump into that, I have configured it to go from Chinese to English and that's just for you guys. And you can kind of use your phone, you can take a picture here and you can you can point it at these Chinese letters over here and the phone will translate that and you can kind of see the top one is power supply and then there is current adjustment and the next one uh, it calls it works or jobs but then the description is pulse adjustment so that's the amount of pulses that you'll get when spot welding and then there's preloading that's uh, sometimes it's it's some kind of a time delay delay adjustment so um yeah this is really neat pretty cool <laughs> so that was an update on my spot welding here the 13 amp hour battery that is in that power booster bank thingy well it it's not enough to do very many spot welds so maybe i need a bigger charger so that i can charge it while i'm doing this but it kind of well it's it's portable you can go out and you can make maybe do 20 spot welds and then you have to charge it so it's not ideal the Chinese spot welder I need to plug that into some more power and then that's good to go so yeah that was nice little update on this and everything is kind of working okay so that's not bad and I can probably take the safety goggles off by now I have my safety slippers on of course to to keep safe so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye